Hello, welcome to another Facebook Friday, right? It's a Freely Chi Friday. Fridays are always awesome, aren't they? And I think I said this last week, but same thing this week. We have had amazing fall weather here in Michigan all week long. Last weekend was really cruddy, like super like gray and depressing, but then all week long it's been sunny and beautiful and like perfect temperatures and today is another one of those days so i'm super excited about that and i'm super excited so we have some awesome projects i'm going live today like i do most every friday to share a couple of super cute beautiful gorgeous projects featuring the point set up place suite so i'm going to show you in the catalog because look at it's funny because I am not even a huge um, poinsettia fan. Hi, Amy Jo and hi, uh, Vina. Um, but there was something about this suite when I saw it in the catalog that just really drew me in. I honestly, I think it's the designer series paper too, but you can see all the beautiful projects they've made with the poinsettia place um, suite of products. Hello, Miss Sharon. And then the designer series paper. I'm gonna show you that um, up close um, for live, for real, because I think as always, the catalog does a decent job, but in person and like seeing the paper for real is even better than like in the catalog. Hello, Kim, welcome. Um, and then some other great products in that suite. So there's the bundle, the poinsettia petal stamp set, and then the poinsettia dies. This awesome, I'm gonna show you guys this paper for realsies too, cause it's beautiful. It's like a flocked um, poinsettia paper. And then the beautiful real red sheer ribbon and the um, beaded pearls. And it's funny, these almost look like candy to me. They are like, I keep saying they look yummy, which is weird because they're not like edible at all, but I don't know. I guess I'm always like hungry for sweets. Hey Barb, how are you? Um, and then let me just show you because here you can see up close and you guys know this, right? Everything in the catalog is actual size unless they say otherwise. So as you're flipping through the catalog, you can see like the poinsettia, the biggest leaf is that size right there and it's fun to kind of layer them. And then also anything that's kind of whited or grayed out means there's something that will cut those things. And in very teeny tiny print right down there, it tells you what will cut those things out. So in this case, it's the poinsettia dies that cut out the um, flowers and the leaves. Sometimes it's a punch, um, but it's just in super small print, so it's hard to read. Um, hello, Roseanne. I'm so excited. Everybody's popping on today. So anyway, this is a beautiful suite of products. I actually um, made my class to go featuring those products also, so I'm super excited to show you guys that in a little while, too. I closed the catalog, and I'm like, oh, maybe I want that open. So anyway, all right, I've got that open for myself in case I need that. So yeah, so we're going to do a couple of awesome projects later on today. I'll show you the um, to-go kit class a little bit later on, too. Um, what else? I feel like there's, you know, there's always so much good stuff to share with you guys. Um, one thing to remember, the designer series paper sale, which includes, I'm pretty sure, let me make sure, yeah, the poinsettia place um, designer series paper is included in that sale. So we have one, two, there's six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14 different packs of paper that are on sale, 15% off beautiful our paper is always gorgeous the other beauty of our paper is it always coordinates with all of our cardstock and our ink and our embellishments ribbon all that good stuff and online and um, on the package of paper that you order it tells you all of the coordinating colors and actually in the catalog now they're doing that too so in our august to december mini catalog so for example on the poinsettia place designer series paper it tells you the coordinating colors you can see them right there. So what is it? Real red, garden green, um, old olive. Is it bumblebee? Yep, bumblebee and soft suede are the cardstock, ink, et cetera, colors that you would want to use to make your fabulous coordinating projects, right? So yeah, so get your designer series paper all month long. It's on sale, 15% off, bunch of different packs of paper. You can go right online to stampinup.com, uh, type in um, sale designer series paper and everything that's on sale will pop up for you. And it'll probably even show you some of our older retired product um, that's on the clearance rack too, because I think there's still some on there also. So hello, Susie, hello, Kay. So happy to have you guys be here with me today. Thank you, thank you. Um, so let's see. Oh, I have to show you guys. So this is like spoiler alert. Anybody that is a club member, I'm like, I'm super proud of myself. Usually I'm like at the last minute running around trying to get these things done. Um, but I got them done early this time. So I want to show you guys my club member treat for the month of, we're in October, right? Are these cute little treat bags. So if you can see, I embossed and I'm going to forget the name. 
It's one of the little embossing flowers that's in the annual catalog. Let me see if I can find it. Um, <clears throat> hold on one moment, please. I bet I can, I bet I can figure it out pretty quickly and easily. So yeah, it's the Meadow Moments embossing folder because there are a couple of them that have kind of, no, is it? Yeah. Isn't that funny? No, maybe not Meadow Moments. Now I'm looking at it. It's the greenery. They're kind of similar. They're like leafy prints. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Lori. Um, but yeah, it's actually the greenery embossing folder. So they're the smaller ones you can see right here. So not that one because that's like a consistent pattern. It was this one right here because it kind of embossed it at the top and at the bottom of the little treat. So can you kind of, can you guys see there's a little bit, it's actually, I guess I got it more along the bottom. There's a little bit up in the corner, but it's covered up. That's some of the plaid tidings designer series paper. My absolute most favorite, the stitched leaves dies. I cannot stop using those, especially this big maple leaf, which I have this, I have a beautiful maple leaf, um, maple tree, right? Right outside my house. And the colors like the oranges, yellows, reds, are amazing right now. So not a brown leaf. And then um, this one, I think I did rich razzleberry leaf with the happy fall, y'all. <laughs> Such a cute sentiment. I love that. And then there are little Hershey, um, or not Hershey, but little Reese's um, peanut butter cups inside. So fun little treat bag. I totally cased this. So Erica Serwin at um, Pink Buckaroo Designs makes probably the most fabulous um, 3D project, like treat holder ideas. So um, I happened to see um, a post that she had done. I think hers was a Halloween bag, but if you're curious, just um, look, go to pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, and I think it was maybe even last Friday, she made a Halloween version of this bag. We used to actually have a um, big shot, when we called it the big shot, our um, die cut and emboss machine. Um, we used to have a die that made this sort of treat bag box. So anyway, and then these little clips are just from Walmart because we don't sell those right now, but you can get them in the craft section. Um, but fun little um, treat idea. So, and that kind of prompted me to make sure to, to kind of tell everybody because I haven't talked about this in the while. Um, club member, if you are interested in getting cute little treats like this from me every single month, so I ship them with the class to go kit. Um, I have club members that say, yeah, I want to do those um, class to go kits every single month. It's a 12 month commitment in any of the clubs, but you get cute little treats from me every single month and then you also get um, at least $30 in free um, host benefits free product whatever you want one month when you are the host of the club that you participate in so the class to go kit club you can pick either option number one or option number two because even if you're a demonstrator pick um, option number two get your stamp set and your dies and that stuff on your own to get your demonstrator discount and then um, I will give you everything else you need the embellishments all the parts and pieces to make your projects um, the PDF tutorial so it's a great way to get like a fun kit in the mail every single month right and then get cute treats for me and that $30 in host benefits we also have so two other local clubs we have the simple beautiful card club which I actually have this afternoon right here in Alma we meet on the second Friday of every month from 1 to 3 p.m. And then we have a scrapbook club, or so it's a class or a club. Um, but a lot of people um, end up joining the club because they're like, yeah, I want to come to either Simple Beautiful Card class or scrapbook class every single month. Why not? Um, put your, it's just, it's just at least a $30 order each month. And then one month you get host benefits, at least $30 in free stuff and these cute little treats for me. So if you guys have any questions on any of the club options, let me know because I'd love to get you signed up. Um, I am always looking for new club members. People are kind of coming and going all the time. Um, I will tell you though, a lot of times once you start, you never want to stop and I give you more free stuff if you rejoin so after 12 months you get $15 in free product for rejoining plus another $30 in host benefits the month that you are the hostess so it's an awesome way to kind of get dialed in and put it on your calendar and have a little me time every single month at the stamp studio or um, with those class to go kits so again if you have any questions let me know on that okay um, you can always call text me my number 989-330-0259 you can post Post a message right here on Facebook. You can email me at amy.frelici at yahoo.com. I uh, respond to all messages always. I'm constantly checking all of those um, forms of communication. So yeah, love to have you uh, join a club anytime. Okay. Um, 
I think we are ready. Let's go ahead and do our first drawing for, these are the beautiful, the star designer elements. I love these. They're just a beautiful, like kind of a bronzy, sparkly um, star that are perfect for your holiday projects right now too, okay? So you uh, got your name in the drawing if you shared the Facebook Live video from last week, anytime until last night, uh, basically at about midnight. I think I prepped um, <laughs> for that. Or if you're new to me, if you haven't signed up for my email list and you did that last week, your name is in the drawing as well. So make sure you are sharing, make sure you are signing up for my email list. If you aren't getting my email yet, that is my number one best way of communicating. I'm super religious about every single month getting all those email um, written and scheduled to go out all month long. So it's my the best way to kind of make sure you stay updated with me and what's going on at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio and online and with Stampin' Up. So, yeah. All right, here we go. We are going to draw for the star designer elements. And let's see, one name in my hand, the lucky winner. Haha, -ha, Miss Philomena. This is awesome. I think... Maybe Philomena even won last week. I'm trying to remember for sure, but she maybe did. So she's a hot winner right now. Philomena, you go get your um, your lottery tickets or go play bingo or something because I think you are a lucky woman these days. So Philomena, I will get these star designer elements sent out to you. Okay, uh, let's see, we're gonna dump those out. And over there, you know, I gotta get organized. Okay, so this next week, we are going to give away uh, the embroidered ribbon, which I meant to, actually, I'll show you. Let me show you. So the embroidered ribbon, it's actually on this card right here. So it's this beautiful, it's embroidered. It's just, it's got so much texture and detail. You can kind of see the stitching in there, some lighter shade, like tan shades and creamier shades in there too. But we're going to give away a whole bolt and you maybe can even see it better in there. Isn't that funny? Yeah, the embroidered ribbon. This is what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live. I will tell you, I'm actually going to be out of town next week, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we're not going to do Facebook Live next week, which today's the night. So not on the 16th. Um, is that right? Yeah, the 9th, the 16th. Um, but we will be um, going live the following week. I have to figure out when I'm going to do it, though, because my weekend retreat is that Friday, the 23rd, and then 24th and 25th. So I usually head down earlier um, so I can get everything set up. So I might do it on Thursday. I'll keep you posted. Um, but basically, no Facebook Live next week. And I think Thursday, the following week, which would be the 22nd. Um, we will draw though. So you can share as many times as you would like, get your name in the drawing to win that embroidered ribbon and we will um, draw for that on our next Facebook Live. Okay. All right, what else do we have going on? Um, I have some other things I just wanna give you quick updates on. We have the one day retreat. So not only the weekend retreat, RSVP deadline is essentially passed. Um, if you, at, decide, you know, like today that you really want to do that, I can probably still get you slipped into the roster there. But basically, um, that has like the registration is already closed for the weekend retreat. But the one day retreat right here in Alma on Saturday, November 14th, uh, registration is still open for that. I would love to have you join me. Hello, Miss Teresa. We are going to be making um, whatever you want to make all day long. You just basically come bring your projects, whatever you want to work on 9am to 9pm right here in Alma. Um, I feed you, I make you cute treats, I take good care of you. Um, we have make and takes too. I bring all of my Stampin' Up! supplies, all of my stamps, my die cutting and embossing machine, and then all the supplies that you can use with the die cutting and embossing machine. You can play with any of my things, my punches, um, any of that stuff you can play with all day long too. Come check it out, play with my stuff, see what you like, and then order whatever you like yourself, right? So plus, like I said, you just get to basically hang out and do whatever you want all day long because I'm taking care of feeding you and doing everything else. So all you have to do is sit and play and craft and chat and have a fabulous day. So Saturday, November 14th, the last day to RSVP is actually October 30th. So you've got for the rest of the month. And if you RSVP and prepay by next Friday, the 16th, you actually get an extra free gift in your goodie bag, which I forgot to mention, you get a goodie bag value at least 
$30 in your one day retreat goodie bag too. So it's an awesome value. You get so much great stuff. Like I said, we take such good care of you and I'd love to have you hang out with us um, Saturday, November 14th. Hello, Christine, welcome. So the other thing too, if that date, uh, Saturday, November 14th does not work for you, I am also offering a retreat in a box option. So everything that everybody gets that come to that comes to the retreat, so the goodie bag valued at $30, the make and takes, um, the pillow gifts, I always throw a little something extra special in there. You can sign up and get a retreat in a box basically sent to you and then you can have your own retreat fun whenever you would like to. So if you're interested in that, let me know. I've been emailing about that too. Um, so I'd love to have you participate in the one day retreat if you can't make it to the actual retreat um, on the 14th of November, okay? We also have a bingo down at the stamp store. This is the live stamping bingo, not the online version, the live stamping bingo on, oops, I have like a little hair in my eye or something, sorry. That's like itching me. Uh, so bingo at the stamp studio, Wednesday, November 5th. And um, let's see, RSVP and payment for bingo are due by Friday, October 23rd. So that's coming up again, Wednesday, November 5th. Uh, down at the stamp studio, playing bingo. We play bingo, we make cute projects, I make treats for you. It's another fun night of just stamping and playing and winning awesome prizes. Um, so if you have any interest in that, let me know. And then also scrapbook class too. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm actually gonna wait until I flip the camera down because I think it's easier to show you the pages like on the table than it is up here, right? Because they're backwards too. So anyway, but scrapbook class is coming up at the end of the month. That's always the last Tuesday of the month and it can be a club too. So if you decide you wanna come every single month to scrapbook class, call it a club, get the club benefits also. That is on Thursday, October, um, oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I was like, that's not the right date. It's on Tuesday, October 27th, excuse me, the last Tuesday, Tuesday, October 27th. And RSVPs for scrapbook class are actually due next Sunday, which I think is the 18th. I have written in super teeny tiny writing, and so I am trying to read my writing, and it's really, <laughs> it's really, really hard to do. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so one day retreat, retreat in a box, bingo, scrapbook class. All of these events too are on my um, my blog and um, at stampinup.com. If you um, go on there, search for me as your demonstrator and then under the events tab. And I always include the links to all of this above in the details to this YouTube video too. So you can get all that info there as well. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm happy to, I can um, send you information on it too, okay? So, all right, we are gonna do our next drawing, I think. I just put my notes away and now I'm like, wait a minute, did I, I think I told you guys about everything now, right? So, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, okay, so let's do our next drawing, right? So. If you put in an online order of at least $30, you got the two projects that I forgot to bring over, but the two projects that I demonstrated last week featuring that Tag Buffet stamp set, that awesome, super cute Tag Buffet stamp set, you get those two projects in the mail automatically as a thank you from me for ordering at least $30 and using the host code. If you bumped your order up to $50, you got to pick from either the, um, these are the wonderful gems, you can see kind of sparkly clear and like a real red, but super beautiful. There's like a champagne shimmer on top of them. So you got to pick from either that or the October Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which this was actually my card that was in the tutorial that month. Um, and that's where I wanted to show you that embroidered ribbon. Plus there's my favorite, that um, leaf, the stitched leaf die cut from some of our brushed metallic paper. So the PDF tutorial to how to make this card, which this is a fun one. You can't tell um, by looking at it, but can you see? So we kind of, I only use like that little base right there. And then the inside is what flips open to actually make your card. So with a $50 order, again, you get to pick from either of these. And this is all month long. $50 orders in October get you either the uh, Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the wonderful gems, okay? So, also though, with your order from last week, your name is in the drawing um, to win, where is it? The Cobwebs 3D Embossing Folder, this awesome, super cool Cobweb 3D Embossing Folder. So, 
We're gonna shake these around. I only had a couple of orders, you guys. Honestly, your odds are so good of winning whatever I'm giving away each week, right? I try to be super generous because I really do appreciate your online orders. Um, but yeah, so put your online orders in because you have really good chances of winning what I give away each week. So, okay, so shaking these around and we're gonna draw one name for the winner of the Cobweb 3D embossing folder. And it is Miss Jenna Helitsky. So congratulations, not, not Jenna, Janina. I keep, I was saying that wrong, Janina, J-E-N-I-N-A, Janina Helitsky. So congratulations, Janina, you are the winner of the Cobwebs 3D embossing folder. So I will get that sent out to you. And she actually bumped her order up to $50 and picked the wonderful gem. So for a $50 order, she's getting the Cobweb embossing folder that she just won and then automatically receives the wonderful gems because she ordered at least $50. So it's like a no brainer, right? Um, okay. What else, what else? Oh, I have to show you guys. So what we're gonna give away on next Facebook Live is a full package of the Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper. So you can see it's 48 different sheets. And I have to show you guys because literally, these are all my packs of paper that I have pulled apart and used. So I have like one, two, three, four different packs. And I think I even have maybe more like five or six packs, honestly. But this is all that I have left. I've gone through and like separated, but can you see, like look at all of, so what I kind of do is this one little pack is all of my like not full sheets. So can you see like, look at all of those plaids that are in there. You can kind of see, this is a fun one, kind of looks like candy corn plaid to me. <laughs> it's the candy corn plaid. So, and then here's the back side of a bunch of them too. But all these scraps, like look at all, this is another one of my favorite patterns. I love that paper. And then the um, pretty um, bumblebee on the other side. Deb, hello, Christmassy pattern right there, right? Just kind of a neutral purpley pattern. The black and white is fun, the plaid there also. And then this one kind of looks like fall or Halloween-y also. But those are just a few of them. So look at, seriously, you guys, I love this paper and I think you're gonna love it too. So put your online order in of at least 30 between now and our next Facebook Live and you could win this full unopened, I promise not to open it, even though I love this paper so much, <laughs> All right? You will win the um, plaid tidings designer series paper. So, okay, I think we are ready to flip the camera down. I'm looking around, I think we're good. Moving stuff out of the way. Okay, so yeah. Turn your heads away. We're flying through the air as usual. We're gonna get things set up. Um, let me grab my host code actually. Let me do that. Put that right there to kind of get us in reference. Okay, turn your heads away. We are flipping the camera down. Oops. Oh, I didn't like that. Okay. Rotate your phone while recording, okay? Is that all right? Okay. Hello, Miss Carolyn, welcome. There's something about, it keeps telling me, rotate your phone. I hope it's all right. I think it's okay. I always do this. Why is it being funny with me now? I'm gonna fix this mount just a little bit. Okay, I think we're good. Sorry, you know, technical difficulties. All right, because this glare I find very annoying. We are sliding the table away from the window to hopefully avoid the glare a little bit. All right, I'm grabbing a quick sip of water. <laughs> okay, so this is the host code you wanna use if you put in an online order this week, the Y-E-D-V-S-D-Q-H, okay? So I have to show you guys my scrapbook pages. This is what we made um, last month, so the last Tuesday in September, we made, so we always make three pages. We actually only made we made both of these, didn't we? I was trying to remember. So we made a two page spread and then a single 12 by 12 page spread that will coordinate with next month's other half, if that makes sense. So this is a fun like Halloween page with that magic in the night designer series paper. I just um, posted on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com these pages um, this week. So you can check those out there if you wanna get more info. But look at, oh, my favorite is actually that ribbon, that mesh like metallic, it looks, it looks kind of like a cobweb, doesn't it? But it's super cool. Obviously, it's really, really wide, but it makes beautiful bows, too. So there's the one page, and then here's the other page. There's a little bit of a glare because these pages are still in my um, page protectors with some of the cinnamon cider ribbon and then um, some fun pumpkins. And then the other half, we made this page right here. 
So, and this is beautiful, right? This paper has been on back order and I think they said it wasn't gonna be in until like the end of November, but it actually is gonna be in um, the middle of this month. So you can still order this Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper and get it in reasonable time, right? And then I love this um, sentiment, right? I'm so glad you're in my life as I bonk that. And then more, you guys, you know, I have to use, there we go, now we can kind of see, um, those stitched leaves with that, um, mint macaron basket weave ribbon and then some of the what were those the faceted gems beautiful right so here is the other page this is so we made the two halloween pages and this page and then next month we're going to make the other coordinating page right if you guys can see so this page we will make and then two more that i have yet to design uh, but they'll probably be holiday um, pages because we have so much beautiful christmas paper in the catalog too and i love this one right your friendship is something i know i can count on beautiful sentiment there also more stitched leaves some of the embroidered ribbon that we're going to give away for sharing and signing up for my email list right and then more of that gilded autumn designer series paper so love scrapbook pages love 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 those right okay so now you guys okay i'm super excited to show you the poinsettia place class to go featuring the poinsettia petals dies and i will tell you because i'm never quite as good when i do this on facebook live as i am when i make my video so if i say anything wrong the video is correct <laughs> which is on youtube right now so if you um plus the link um i will include in the details to this uh, facebook live video but it's also um, in the details to the youtube video if you want to sign up for this class to go okay so featuring again the poinsettia petal stamp set which is beautiful right look at all of the poinsettia um, flower and leaf imagery plus the sentiments may magic and wonder bloom this holiday warm wishes for from our home to yours thank you for making this a wonderful season merry christmas and happy holidays so beautiful sentiments an awesome set of dies that does the die cutting and then the um, embossing of the leaves i'm sorry the petals and the leaves more little spriggy images lots and lots of awesome stuff hello miss heidi glad you can hang out with us this afternoon on facebook live right okay so stamp set dies you also are going to get some of the real red sheer ribbon the beautiful this is gorgeous this ribbon is and these the almost yummy like i said the beaded pearls i don't know why i want to eat these things <laughs> they would not be good to eat they're just so pretty though or maybe make an earring out of them beautiful right and then also the poinsettia place designer series paper so there's one sheet that i used all of already but i think it's on one of the projects that i'm going to make so i'll show you that in a minute um, but so this is one side and there's a little pine cone on the other side some more with leaves and pine cones and then the one side is just a little more neutral the other side's a little bit more florally right with the berries too and then there's the back side of that one and then i love this poinsettia right with some more kind of neutral green on the back there and then these are beautiful and the dye actually in here this dye right here cuts these flowers now not all of them so this paper will kind of look like cheese if you <laughs> cut these things out but it's it's so cool the idea of it and then the back side of this one and let me show you i think i have right here a very small piece of the last sheet of paper so it's wood grain on one side no that's not it oh what did i do never mind that's from that's from the in good taste designer series paper oh i know it's on one of the cards we're making down at the stamp studio that's already there so i can't show you but it's berries it's beautiful berries i think it's on one of the cards um that we make on the class to go but anyway check out so beautiful designer series paper in the pack of paper okay so let me tell you about the different options that are available uh, actually, let me show you the cards and then we'll talk about the different options that are available. So you get to make two of each of these cards. I send you all the parts and pieces, everything that you need to make these cards. I give you the PDF tutorial. Basically, you just have, put in have fun putting things together. So this is one of the cards with the warm wishes from our home to yours. Beautiful. I did some fun shimmery painting on there. This is the one I was talking about. This is the paper that I don't have any longer, but it's beautiful. I love the berries, right? So you could make two of the Happy Holidays card. 
two of this one also, and they kind of gotten flattened. Like if you can really like fluff these up and they're beautiful, may magic and wonder bloom this holiday season. And then how about this one? More with those yummy beaded pearls, right? And then um, on this one, actually, I think I did stamp on the inside of all of them. This one actually has the sentiment though, because I didn't have room. There was too much fun going on here already. Hello, Miss Sally. Okay, so class to go. Option number one gets you the poinsettia petal stamp set, the poinsettia dies, the real red sheer ribbon, which is actually free in option number one, the, oops, the beaded pearls, and then a quarter of a pack, which is basically a six by 12. So if this is a 12 by 12, lop that in half and you get a six by 12 piece of each of the patterns of designer series paper. This is only five of them. Don't forget there's that one, this one right here, that paper in there also, okay? So, um, plus the PDF tutorial and all the parts and pieces to make everything that you need, um, those projects, right? So the value alone, too, of the poinsettia petals, stamp set, and dies is $56.50, and that's before tax and shipping, okay? So option number one is $98. Option number two is if you already have the poinsettia petals, stamp set, and dies, make sure you have these because you have to do your own stamping and die cutting. You get the full package of the beaded pearls, the real red sheer ribbon, and then that quarter of a pack of the designer series paper, plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, right? And the PDF tutorial. So option number two is $32. And option number one and option number two ship priority mail for $8, okay? Um, or if you are local, you can pick um, porch pickup option and then that $8 shipping fee is waived. Option number three is if you just want the PDF tutorial that tells you basically how I made all of those cards. You're gonna do it all on your own. Just get that PDF tutorial that tells you how with um, item codes, dimensions, colors, everything that you need to know to make the projects. That is $15, but it's actually free to anyone that is in my Inspired Stampers group. So if you are a current downline member, a current Inspired Stamper, you can get the PDF tutorial for free. And that's true of all of my past PDFs. As long as you're a current um, Inspired Stamper, you can get any of those PDFs for free anytime. And all of my PDFs are on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K. So it's gatheringinspiration.com. Along the top toolbar, there's one that says PDF Store. Just click on that and you can see all of my past PDFs on there. And again, they're $15 um, normally or free if you are an Inspired Stamper. And if you haven't gotten the starter kit and you're thinking about it, just go ahead and get that kit and then you can get those PDFs for free anytime. As well, my downline can also get all of the make and take parts and pieces, the supplies to make two of each of these cards at the low, low price of just $12. It's basically cost to cover um, all of the um, parts and pieces that you need to make those projects. It's just $12. They do need their own stamp set and dies because they still have to do their stamping and die cutting because you know the rules, we can't do that um, in uh, class to go kits. So um, what else? Uh, let's see, we have RSVPs are due by Friday, October 23rd. So that's two weeks from today. You've got two weeks to decide if you want to get that kit and the kits will ship out no later than November 4th. So if you have any questions, let me know. But these, look at, I mean, these cards are just gorgeous. You are going to love making them. I had so much fun designing them this month. So, oh, and too, if you think you want to get that class to go and maybe get one every single month, you might think about that class to go club where you get those cute treats from me every single month as well, along with $30 in free host benefits. Okay, so here we go. Lots and lots of info. We are ready to do our stamping. Okay, so we're gonna scoot this stuff out of the way. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna move that up there. I know I need these things though. So let's see, this is the right way. The other day I put it in the wrong way. <laughs> and, and like it was, I don't know, in metric instead of... I want to say English, not English, but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> okay, so here is our first project featuring that poinsettia petals stamp set and the poinsettia dies. This card I kind of loosely cased from a card that I saw by Mary Fish. She Things were a little bit different. I changed it up a little bit because she actually did the um, die cutting with the die. Was it this one or is it the other one? No, I think it's the other one. Yeah, she actually die cut with the poinsettia petal dies, this dot, this um, piece right here, and then also some of these berries you can cut 
with that one right there. So that die right there and that die right there, cut the berries and just some of these. I don't think they're not all exactly the same. Um, but anyway, so I didn't wanna do that. Um, I did it on here though, actually, you can see right there, I cut it, um, the die with that one. So your class to go get you're in it, you can make that and then use little berries back there too. So anyway, so like I said, loosely based off of a card I saw um, by Mary Fish at stampinpretty.com. She had always admired her work, a very simple and beautiful project. So let me show you, and this is actually a card that we're making down at the stamp studio today too in our simple, beautiful card class. Okay. Let me get what we need for this project. Okay, I feel like I've got a lot of stuff going on here, ladies, and I don't know where to put it all. <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna get my stamps out first because there is a bit of stamping on here. I've got a couple of ink pad colors. Okay. So we are gonna start, actually, let me give you some dimensions right off the bat. Where's that DSP? Okay, so we have, this is a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock. I love to make tall cards like this. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. So you can see it makes that tall card like that, right? Okay, then we have a piece of Whisper White that's gonna layer right on there that measures, this one is four inches by five and a quarter inches, so that's gonna just go right on there after we emboss it with the awesome Evergreen embossing folder. Okay, then we have, this is the piece of designer series paper. This is the In Good Taste designer series paper, so another wood grain background that measures three and one quarter by four and a half, so that's gonna go right on there, and then, we have this little piece of Whisper White that's kind of um, in the back there. This piece right here kind of slips underneath those leaves and flowers that measures two and one quarter by three and a half. And this piece is also embossed with that evergreen embossing folder, okay? Um, and then we're gonna do, I have some, just some scraps of Whisper White cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting. I guess the last one actually I should show you. This piece right here is a um, Whisper White one inch by three and one quarter inch strip of cardstock for the Merry Christmas there. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna scoot, maybe scoot this right there. These we need to emboss. And then just a little teeny tiny scrap of the brushed metallic cardstock to do just the little center of that piece right there. Okay, so we can do our stamping on these things, and then this is gonna be a die cut also. Okay, I think I've got myself organized. So let's start with our real red ink, okay? And we're gonna just stamp our Merry Christmas. Let's get this one done, set aside. So that nice, easy tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up. Oh, look at that, isn't, oh, I love, 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 love that. Isn't that beautiful? That beautiful scrolly font, right? We love our fonts around here, don't we ladies? Okay, so now we also have crumb cake ink and I actually stamped off. So I wanna do that. Let me find, I need my grid paper so we can stamp off on this first. Okay, so I'm gonna use the biggest leaf. Okay, so I'm gonna just stamp it on there because that's a little bit dark for me. And then I'm gonna stamp it on there, okay? Then we need the next, the medium leaf, I would say. We're gonna stamp that off. And where do I wanna put this? Maybe right about there, okay? Then we are gonna do the berries. So we're gonna actually stamp kind of the outline of the berries. We're gonna stamp that off. We're gonna put one right there. And then I actually need one more. So we're gonna stamp that one off. And I did not give myself, you know what? Maybe I, that's why I have this piece here too. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Do that one and that one. Okay, so now the trick is to line up. Where are my glasses? Let's get the glasses out, Amy. Okay, so we've got real red ink. We're gonna just nice, easy tap, tap, tap. And those top two 
little guys go right there and there. So those two go in there. So it's kind of on a little bit of an angle. I like to, can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm like so intent on what I'm doing. I like to kind of have my finger on here to kind of guide it because it seems like sometimes things kind of slip a little bit. And that's, that's a little off, but you know, kind of adds to the reality. That one's better. So yeah. Okay, I think we have all of our stamping. So I'm actually gonna put these things right back in here and I am gonna clean things off right now so I can get these stamps out of the way because then we can do all of our um, die cutting and embossing, okay. So I always like to kind of use my little scrubby, scrub hat, scrubby, simply chamois, it's called, right? And then kind of just tap off on scrap paper. It's amazing how, I don't know where the ink goes. I kind of like laughingly and jokingly say that, but seriously, it gets like absorbed in here. And then even when I clean this, it doesn't, like not that much ink rolls off of it. So, okay, there, we're gonna get all those little babies out of the way so we can do our die cutting and embossing. Okay, 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 here we go. We're gonna get our new cut and emboss machine. Love this baby. Okay, so we'll do our die cutting first. So I have and have been using, I can't remember if I showed you this last week or not, but this is the new metallic plate. So it's plate number five. You layer with the regular platform Platform number one. Hello, Miss Mary. I'm glad you can join us. And then you put the magnetic platform on top. So you do plate number five. I'm sorry, plate number one. And then plate number five. And then we are going to do our cutting. So we might have to do this. I don't know if I put those too close together, if you can see that or not. We will try to cut them all at once. Um, but actually with those berries, we need two sets anyway. So... This one and this one. So maybe we'll just do the big leaf. So th this is one that it's not uniform. So you do have to flip the die around until you figure out how it fits on there exactly. And then we'll do these berries here. So yeah, we'll just do one because that's going to be too close together. I, if I would have stamped a little bit further apart, we maybe could have done them separately. So then we're going to put a plate number three on top, crank our handle. That didn't work. It was funny. I was like, do I need plate number two? So you can see I haven't done this too much <laughs> yet. So we do. It's. I was kind of questioning, like, do I need plate number two? But I do. There we go. Okay. So because what happens is that um, magnetic plate kind of takes the place of one of the clear number three um, cutting plates. So there we go. Okay. So we've got that. So we're going to pop these out. And actually, I'm just gonna leave them right on. So I'm gonna move this one, put that die back there, and then we need the next smallest leaf. Ooh, and did I get lucky? I did, I just put that on. I didn't even have to flip it around at all. That one goes there, okay. So here we go. So yeah, this one requires a bit of um, cutting and embossing, which I'm thrilled because my daughter Lily will be down at class with us today. So she will be able to help everybody with their die cutting and embossing. There, look at those pretty berries, huh? And then these beautiful kind of, um, love the white, that beautiful white with the pop of red is gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna actually, don't lose those berries, Amy. Okay, put those over there. So now we have to do our um, embossing with our embossing folder, we've got this. Table is not big enough. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, so we gotta do one more. I was not thinking. Okay, we're gonna put this back on here. We need the little center. Okay, we'll just run this real quick. So is that the right one? That's not the right one. Okay, so there are two different dies. If you can see, one of them is just gonna do embossing, and then this one's actually gonna cut the little holes out. So can you see? The difference? Yeah, you can kind of see my hand through there, right? So we want that one. Okay, so whoops, I forgot that. Okay, so we're just gonna crank this out real quick. Okay, and then we can do our embossing. Okay, 
Okay, so <laughs> that cute little baby, right? We'll get those little guys poked out of the way too. Maybe some of them will just fall out magically while I move the paper. Okay, now we can do our embossing. So we have our larger piece and our smaller piece. We're gonna have to do them separately, I believe. Let's see. Will we be able to fit them both in here? I think it's not, nope, not quite. Okay, so we're gonna set that, maybe. I'm kind of trying to line it up, because um, you do want it straight, right? So use that little line right there. Line that baby up there. We do not need this one, and I don't believe we need that plate either. We're gonna use the base plate number one. We're gonna use our 3D embossing folder, and then the um, plate number four on top. And that should be all we need because this is one of the 3D embossing folders, okay? So we're gonna do that. Ooh, isn't that cool? Check out all of that embossing. Hi, Lily. <laughs> and there's the, I guess that's maybe more of the front side. Isn't that cool? It looks like a beautiful forest of trees, right? Okay, and we're gonna do one more of these. We're gonna put that right there and then crank this back through and then we will be able to put our project together. So Lily should have been standing here listening while I just showed this card so she knows how to do it at class. She's looking at me with one of those teenage girl faces, like, whatever, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. She's so, you wouldn't even know she's here, right? She doesn't want you guys to know that she's here because she doesn't want to have to say hello again because she's a teenage girl. Okay, enough about that, right? All right, so here we go. I think we have all of our parts and pieces. Are we, we're not too askew here, right? Are we in view? Let's make sure. I think we are. Okay. So we've got our base. I'm gonna grab my adhesive. So we can, let's bring this back into view so you guys can see what we're making. So we're gonna add some adhesive. And again, I think that, cause this side is kind of popping up, I want this to be the front and then that'll be what I'm gonna add adhesive to. But you could, this is kind of the debossed and the embossed side. So whichever one you like, you kind of can't go wrong, I don't think. We want to use quite a bit of adhesive all the way around the edges so that this sticks really well on our card base. Okay, so we're gonna put this one right on there. You guys are quiet today. Hello, Miss Sue. Welcome, welcome. All right, now we are going to grab just a little strip of that real red sheer ribbon. Isn't it so pretty? It's gonna be great um, like for gift wrapping too, I think. So we're just gonna do a little snip. That's all you need of that ribbon. We are gonna run that maybe right about there. Looks good. Flip that over, I'm gonna add some adhesive. And this one you wanna put quite a bit of adhesive on also because you're sticking this down on the embossed piece. So we're gonna run that and around there, tack that down firmly. And then I'm trying to make sure, I'm pretty sure I can put this on. Then we're gonna put that right on there, okay. All right, next is this piece right here, and we're gonna pop this up on dimensionals. Again, that actually looks like the side I want to show, and then that's the side we're gonna put dimensionals behind, okay? So we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind this one. I'm gonna put one right in the middle just so it doesn't get all floppy there. Okay. Peel, I'm just peeling the backings off the dimensionals. I was kind of doing that off camera. I was trying to take a peek at what time it was. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. How are you today? Uh, to try to keep myself on track, because I don't want to be late for class either. I'm always like running in there at the last second. And everybody just laughs at me because that's how I roll, it seems. Okay, so now we've got our point set of petals. So we're gonna add some adhesive on this one. We're just gonna kind of off center that right there. There, I'm trying to get those. I forgot to bring my paper piercing tool. I wonder if I use 
without hurting myself, right? Kind of pop those things out. There we go. Okay, so I do definitely want to use my little silicone mat because when I put adhesive on that little piece, it can kind of come through the circles. But if I use this, it doesn't make my grid paper all sticky, okay? All right, so we've got that. I'm going to put a dimensional behind this baby. Okay, and we are going to, oops, eventually get that peeled off. Okay, then we are going to put that maybe right about there. Whoopsie daisy. So yeah, there's adhesive kind of coming through there. That's all right. Now we have our berries. Let's get that little baby out of there too. Okay, so we are going to just add some adhesive to the bottom of these. And we're gonna tuck one kind of right in there. And then another one, maybe right there. And I like to kind of, I like these to kind of curl up a little bit too. Once you stick them down firmly, kind of curl them up a little bit. Hello, Denise, so glad you can join us today. And then we're just gonna add this little baby. And I don't think, nope, I didn't put any dimensionals on that. I just kind of, because this is already on dimensionals, so I'm just gonna kind of put some adhesive on that. And I just kind of off-centered it a little bit, maybe right about like that. And there we go. So what do you guys think? Isn't that gorgeous? It's so, I love the like the white and neutral with the pops of red. Hello, Susan. Hey, thank you for joining us. So yeah, this is card number one, again, featuring the poinsettia petal stamp set and the poinsettia dies. Beautiful project, isn't it? I love this one. I'm gonna be really excited for everybody to make it at class today too. So, okay, there we go. Card number one. Now I have to show you guys because... Okay, this one, they're both beautiful. I love both of them, but this one is, is striking to me. Um, and I think it's because of the flocking. This, I think that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? Let's look. So it's this paper. Well, it's called the Plush Poinsettia Specialty Paper, but I really think that's like flocking. So um, it's like, oh, I don't know, velvety almost. Can you kind of see? Hopefully you guys can see how beautiful it is. So this is one of the patterns. And then you can see I have just a little bit left because I only have six by 12 pieces of this left. So this one has poinsettias and then this one kind of has the berries and the leaves. But again, it's all the flocking. So it's those three patterns of paper in this pack. And I think you get, let's make sure, you get six sheets. Yeah, so you get um, two 12 by 12 of each of those patterns. But this, oh my gosh, I want you guys to feel it. I wish you could feel the paper. It's just beautiful. And then I love this color combination, the mossy meadow and cherry cobbler with the beautiful beaded pearl and then some of the gray granite um, sprigs on there also. So, okay, let's show you how we're going to make this one now. Okay, I think I've got everything. Okay, we've got our stamps and our ink. So let me tell you about um, sizes here. And I did do a little bit of um, die cutting just kind of for ease of uh, demonstration, right? So the video doesn't go too long because you'll get the idea. It's pretty simple. Okay, so this is our gray granite card base that starts off or um, cardstock, right? Along the 11 inch side, this time we cut it at five and a half and then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card base, right? Then we have a piece of a Whisper White, and we actually have one on the inside too. They are the same size, they should, nope, they are not the same size, so let me make sure I don't screw that up either. So on the inside is our standard, the four by five and a quarter. So this is the one I want to emboss, or um, stamp on the inside, the four by five and a quarter. We are gonna stamp the warm wishes from our home to yours on that piece. This one we are just gonna layer right behind our flocking piece. It's a little bit smaller. So this one actually measures three and seven eighths by five and one eight. And then our flocked, the poinsettia petals plush paper is three and three quarter by five inch, okay? So I am going to adhere this right now because I'm like nervous. I'm gonna screw up. <laughs> and let me show you. What I do is I only put adhesive where it's gonna be covered up. So behind the leaves and the um, berries and the flowers and then this sentiment right here. And it like this is not attached, but it doesn't really come off either because you don't wanna see the adhesive um, behind 
that kind of vellum flacked piece, okay? So I think we are good there. Okay, so we're just gonna put that down. We might as well just put this right on our card front just to kind of get it here and right out of the way. So I wanna show you that again because I love, isn't that, oh my gosh, everybody needs this paper. I love, honestly, I love the, I love the, um, the designer series paper to the poinsettia. This whole suite is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's do our stamping and our die cutting. So I have Cherry Cobbler ink, beauty of Stampin' Up, right? Our ink and our cardstock coordinate perfectly. So we are gonna stamp the warm wishes from our home to yours. This is the piece that's gonna go on the inside of our card. Okay, and then I just have a strip of um, Whisper White cardstock for our sentiment that says, thank you for making this a wonderful season. So always stamp straight down and lift straight up. It's the best way to do your stamping and make it look good. Okay, so we're gonna close that up now. So we are going to die cut our label right here and then the rest of our poinsettia pieces, okay? So scooting that all up out of the way, we're gonna grab our Stampin' Cotton and Moss machine again and do our die cutting. Okay. So we've got our magnetic plate again. So again, to do your die cutting, you need plate number one, plate number two, and plate number five to do the, um, the die cutting with the small metal pieces. So from the painted labels dies, we're going to use that one right there for our sentiment. Okay. Let's put that one back in there. So let's see if we put that maybe right there. I wonder if I can get everything on here. We'll see if we can. If we put this piece, I'm already a little worried. Probably should have just cut that off, but we'll see. We've got that one. And you know what? We're not going to do that. We're going to do it two times. I'm already feeling like I'm getting, it's getting too crowded. So put that one and that one and that one on there. And then we'll come back and do our poinsettia leaves. Okay. So we need our sprig on our gray granite. And then we need, what do I have? Two bigger leaves. So we're going to do a smaller leaf. So we have this one that will do the cutting and then that one that does kind of the embossing on the inside of our leaf there. Okay, so we're just going to line those up. This thing, maybe we'll go right there and right there, okay. All right, so we'll cut these babies and then we will do our poinsettia petals. So I love this die too, right? Cause it kind of, does that little bit of embossing around the inside of the detail there. Very, very cool, okay. And then we've got our leaf. So can you see how it did the die cutting and the embossing and you can kind of curl it up to make it look more leaf-like. And oops, that was the wrong one. <laughs> oh well, well, so th this is kind of fun, right? I actually, I'm gonna do this again on that little piece right there. I think that should be enough. <laughs> whoops I'm getting a little ahead of myself that's okay because it kind of gets um stuck behind things so we'll scoot that one there so we've got this and we need all three of our leaves let's see where did they all go I kind of flung them over onto the table hmm. and now where's the one okay maybe I'll, I'll find it okay so we're gonna do this one right here and you want to kind of get these centered right and then we've got our little baby and where is the other one now i am getting a little worried it's here somewhere so i've got this piece and i'm trying to find my um the inside piece okay so we're just going to pick some things up i just oh no it's still on there uh, that's why it was still on my dies so this is the trick. I'm sure somebody has like a rule for how to figure this out. I just kind of flip around until I see that it goes where I want it to go. Okay, so we're gonna put those right there. All right, I think we're gonna be good. So 
is totally worth it. Hello, Mary. Glad you can join us. Um, all of this die cutting and embossing is so worth it. And if I were a little more, you know, with it right now, that wouldn't have taken as long as it maybe did. Right? Okay. We have this one. And then our last one. Okay. And then our little... There, that's what I needed. Okay, so these will all pop right out. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little worried I wasn't totally in view as well as I could have been. You know, that looks like <laughs> it's like the same color. And that'll be okay. I've got like a little mini version of that, but that's all right. Um, because we kind of tuck it behind things. Okay, so we're going to scoot this baby out of the way. we can start putting things together. Okay, so let's do our poinsettia first. So we're gonna add some adhesive. You guys can see me, right? Okay, I got worried that I wasn't in view. Okay, so there's that one. And then we'll add some, oops, more adhesive on this one. And we're just kind of, let's bring that back into view so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing there too, right? So we're just kind of layering and layering and layering. And then when I have that firmly, then I like to kind of curl these things up a little bit. We're gonna do the same thing with these leaves also. Okay, I think we are ready to add some adhesive to each of these pieces. And again, I'm working right on this silicone mat so I don't get adhesive all over. Let's just put this on the inside of our card too. This was our warm wishes from our home to yours. We're gonna put that right on the inside of our card. Just get that on there and out of the way, okay? Next, I keep getting my finger on there. I'm gonna put a little bit more adhesive on that one. Okay, let's scoot that over a little bit. Okay, so we are going to put that maybe right about there and you know what I want to put this sentiment on because I want to make sure I have enough room for that we're going to put some dimensionals behind our sentiment okay and pop that right down there then we are going to put one leaf oops let's make sure put that down firmly and then kind of curl it up and we will do one more, that one right there, and kind of curl that one up, and then one more up in this corner. That, where do I want it? Maybe right about, about there. Press firmly and curl, and then we have our little sprigs. So we are going to, and I actually kind of cut off because that Little piece kind of got in the way. It was a little bit too long the last time. So we're gonna put this one. Again, just kind of feed it underneath there like that. And then this one can go right there. Okay, curl those babies up. Now, the last little bit and my most favorite, the beaded pearls. I'm gonna grab a mini glue dot Kind of put that right on there. That's the easiest way. Instead of trying to peel that off, just oops, put what you're working with right to the glue dot on there and peel it up and off. And there we go. Oh, Leluya. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love the colors are just striking, I think, in that flocking. Gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed these cards, right? Okay, so quick recap, especially in case you are new to Facebook Live, make sure you use the host code, the Y-D-B-S-D-Q-H. You automatically get both of the projects that I demonstrated today with at least a $30 order when you use the host code, right? Your name also goes in the drawing to win the package of the Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper. And if you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the wonderful gems. So, so much good free stuff when you order through me, which I truly, truly appreciate. And don't forget to share the video. I love for you guys to do that too. Your name goes in the drawing to win the um, embroidered ribbon if you share the video or sign up for my email list. So 
Again, no Facebook Live next Friday. I believe I will be back live on Thursday, October 22nd is my plan. So we will see you guys all then. I will post on our Facebook group just to confirm when we'll be going live, just so everybody knows. Um, but have a great weekend and have a great week next week, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye.